I know I don't act like it for the most part, but man's growing still. Why does it look like that? Primark, you kind of did your thing still. He's. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Caspar the ghost. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Rumbi, and I'm back with another video. And in today's edition, I'm going to show you how I'm going to do my makeup using only Primark products. I've got some brushes, I've got a makeup foundation, press foundation, baking powder, some lip gloss, beauty blenders and all that. So I'm just going to show you that you can still achieve a nice beat regardless of where you buy your products. I think most people actually know this already, but in case you didn't know, I'm going to show you. I got all of this for literally £31.50. I did have to compromise a little bit and get um, some products that weren't there, like different versions of what I needed. So for example, I wanted to get some liquid concealer and I couldn't do that. So I had to get like a stick instead. And then the same thing for the primer. I wanted to get a different primer, but you know, a win is a win. It's not an L, a win is a win. So we're going to make it work. Let's get into it. Okay, before I actually do get into it, um, I decided to make myself a cup of coffee like a proper adult. I mean, I am 24. I know I don't act like it for the most part, but... Man's growing still. Um, oh, that's exquisite. Exquisite. Right, 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 no more mess about. Let's go. So first things first, we've got the primer. Oh yeah, I need to open everything. Why does it look like that? Why does it look like that? It is smooth, it smells clean. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Underneath this primer, I have made sure that my skin is moisturized. That's the first rule of like makeup in it. Face needs to be moisturized. Now I've primed it, bit questionable, but hey ho, here we go. Trust the process. I'm here for a good time, not a long time. <laughs> hair out my face now eyebrow pencil i think my eyebrow is a bit dark for this you know oh my gosh that's so cool i'm too easily excited as you can see my eyebrows are starting to grow back so i should probably pattern that however look look at that it's giving real eyebrows i love this i don't have anything like this yet so Buff Queen, yes, I like it. I like it a lot. I will just go with this so I can fill in the blanks. I'm going to conceal my eyebrows as well anyways, but it comes with the powder thing. It's literally a three and one. I don't know what the powder thing is. I don't want to try it out today. In fact, I'm not even going to conceal my eyebrows right now because I have all of the products that I usually would use. I'm going to have to change up the routine. So we're going to do foundation first. I'd like to think this is my colour. Okay. Go off, sis. Go off. Damn. Damn, I did a good colour match, you know. Let's blend it out and see how that's looking. I'm going to try their liquid foundation brush. I don't usually use a brush anymore. Since switching up my makeup routine, I use a beauty blender, which I've got as well, but I'll try it. I do like the way that that's blending actually. It's giving full coverage. That's a really nice smell as well. I know you see this. Damn, mommy. Primark, you kind of did your thing still. It blends very well. The lace. Go over it a little bit. Look at that match. Oh my gosh. Okay, I've done my foundation now, as you can see. I've blended it out and it's very good on coverage, like completely, completely covered my face to one shade. And now I'm gonna go ahead with my concealer stick. Usually you guys know I'd like to use. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Trust the process. Keep telling myself that. Um, how damn, boy, damn. I'm gonna use the beauty blender for this. I don't know if this is gonna work. It's not looking good, Bev. It's not looking good. Okay, maybe if I use a brush instead. 
be better. I see this is not working out in my favor. <laughs> so we're, we're gonna, we're gonna go to a girl instead. I'm not about to play myself like this. I'm gonna blend this out properly and then I'll show you how it looks afterwards. Okay, so I've gone over with the Beauty Blender and I've just added more concealer, basically trying to give myself a bit more life. What it's looking like is, take a little sip, looking like, because I know I naturally have dry skin, the primer was quite drying. I'm going to go in with the concealer stick. Let's blend that out. I think what's happened is... That's blended quite well. Anyways, as I was saying, um, whilst I contour, I'm going over with an eyeshadow brush just so I can do my nose contour. But what I was saying was because I have naturally dry skin, with the fact that the foundation I think is mattifying, I should have used like an oil kind of primer, which I didn't realize that the foundation was like mattifying, but I can see that as I'm blending the makeup together. I'm not complaining, like it is what it is, we make it move, we make it work, regardless. But I like the shade of the contour, I do actually. And then just to add some colour, I'm going to go in with my Made by Mitchell. And this stuff is actually to die for, like, I actually love it. The foundation brush to blend this out. I will just go ahead and add contour stick to the center of my nose just so we can snatch that it's gonna snatch it so seeing as i haven't actually concealed my eyebrows i'm gonna do that now i'm a person who likes my eyebrows to be sh snatched i'm gonna do it off camera okay i've concealed underneath now i'm just gonna go ahead and conceal on top using the same foundation as the rest of my face so a darker shade than my concealing shade. Okay, now that I've done my eyebrows, you can see that they're looking more precise. I've concealed them top and bottom. Now I'm going to go ahead and what is actually the next step? Ah, I'm going to set my face. I'm going to go in with the pressed powder first. I don't know which order you're supposed to do it, to be very honest. But we're winging it. Oh, it's cute. Oh, it comes with a mirror. Okay, I like it. I like it already. Um, I'm not going to use that. I'm going to use my Trigwell powder puff. I'm going to just... I don't know if this is my shade. Um, very bright. It's kind of giving Caspar the ghost is very bright maybe a little bit too bright oh dear i might as well commit to it you know might as well do my my nose with it as well <sighs> no 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 i'm not gonna give up now i've come too far i didn't come all this way just to come all this way you know Fix it. Fix it. Fix it. Oh my god. Um, I won't give up on us. Even if this, I don't know, get rough. I'm giving you all my love. We gon' fix it. I don't know how to fix this, bro. blend 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 that should help i'm sure i don't have any other choice really if it doesn't work i, I don't know i actually don't know like what bro i'm gonna try the foundation no it's not what is this i'm gonna try the loose baking powder and put it down here 
yeah, I'm just trying to, to save it. The press powder maybe wasn't one of my best ideas. I don't think this is going to fix it, but I think if I just go in with blush and try and conceal that, it won't look so harsh. Bearing in mind, I have already set my face, so I don't know how well this is going to work out. I'm going to use the Made by Mitchell brush for this instead, because I've got product on the other brushes. I'm even going to go in with the blush on my nose as well and see if that will tone it down. In this case, less is more, I think. Like, I don't know. This is... I don't want to say it, but I think this is the worst makeup I've ever done in my life. It's I don't think it's to do with the products itself, I just think it's the combination that I've used and just me knowing my skin but not... Because I couldn't find what I needed, I just compromised. And I think you can see that it's been compromised because this is not how my makeup usually looks. I usually have like a dewy look. Everything looks very like blended and this time I don't think it looks very blended in my opinion. But it's just me. I'm now going on to my lips. They didn't have any Vera, what's it, lip liners because they were out. Okay, I've now lined my lips. And now I'm just gonna go ahead with the lip gloss. <laughs> it's not the shade that I would usually go for. I couldn't find a clear. So I just got like a, a shimmer. I'm gonna go with the clear. I'm gonna go ahead and add some highlighter and then I'll do my eyelashes. Maybe that'll bring the whole look together. So, highlighter. Mm -hmm. Before I do my eyelashes, let me show you the eyeliner that I got from Primark. And I actually am quite impressed by this. So, on one side, you've got like a fine line. And then on this side, the other side, it's like a block. I'm not sure how to describe that. So for the eyelashes, I've chosen to go ahead with the ones that I did um, or the ones that I got from Shein in my clothing haul. I think these would really complement the look just because I've done basically full glam. As I've put everything together, the look is coming together now. Not hating it. And I think I might retract the statement of I think this is the worst makeup I've ever done. I think, like I was saying, it's nothing to do with the products themselves. It's the way that I've used them. And for my eyelash glue, I'm using Eyelaw. I ran out of the one that I usually use, so I'm trying something else that's new, which is clear. I usually like to go with black glue, but it is what it is. This will work as well. It's time to add the eyelashes on. I don't know if I left it too long, but here we go. Make sure your tweezers are clean. Okay, now that the eyelashes are on, that's basically the look done. What do you guys think? It's a bit different to what I usually go for, but the whole look is just a bit of something, something new, really and truly. I actually really like it. Mmm, 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 mm. okay. I know I 50-50 because half of the time I was really thinking what is going on, I'm not liking it, but finished product, I'd say I'm feeling it. I am feeling it. Definitely worthwhile for a, like if you're on a budget, because again, this was only £31.50 to be exact. Um, I might do another video like this in the future, but I'll just switch it up a little bit, the way that I've done things, and probably not use the same primer, just because I got dry skin, so I need something to oil it up, lube it up a little bit, you know what I mean, like loosen it up a little bit, yeah. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in my next one. Don't forget to leave a like, a comment as well, actually, because it'd be nice to know what you guys think, and also share. And subscribe if you're new. Like, subscribe, join the gang. It's a whole lot of gang shit. Like, I stay saying this, but anyways, I'll see you guys next time. And yeah, bye. I did that.